economics is the science of man's activities devoted to obtaining the material means for for the satisfaction of his wants. Economics is the science of man's activities devoted to obtaining the material means for the satisfaction of his wants. Want to keep your eye on Danny. You're going to see him down at City Hall one of these days. <laughs> so says the proud brother-in-law. Not so fast. I'm not married yet. Besides, Mary has nothing to do with my being proud of her brother. <laughs> I know, Tom. Guardian angel of the East Side. Well, take it from me, with the exception of a few kids like Danny, they'll all end up in jail. Oh, Danny's no different than the rest. What all kids need is to be taught. Yeah, plenty. When they get to reform school. Reform school's not the answer. Extra! Flynn dies tonight. Extra! Flynn dies Order tonight. Order denies Flynn reprieve. Slayer of fight manager to die at chair. Execution set for 9 p.m. So that's the end of Freddie Flynn. Say, Tom, didn't you two used to pal around once? We were brought up together. We fought in the Golden Gloves. He was the sweetest scrapper you ever saw. He could give you the old one-two like... Like uh, Muggs McGinnis down at Clancy's Pool Hall. Yeah, just like Muggs. <laughs> well, see you later, Tom. I've got to do a little leg work. Get up here. Lay off, Muggs. I ain't done nothing to you. So you're getting something for nothing. Hey, Muggs, a generous individual. Hey, that ain't patriotic. Hey, where did I sock you? On the jaw. On the jaw? The jaw? Why, what's wrong with me? I aim for his chin. What's the prescription, Doc? Take Dr. Limpy's advice. Try again. Bring him over here, Lippy. Get going, Matthias. Oh, cut it out, fellas. I've had enough of this. Now, hold still. You'll get this right in your eye. Oh, Shut up. Of this. Gonna give you a little mud pack. Trouble is, there's no more competition around here. It's getting just like Park Avenue. Maybe you'd like reform school better. Hey, did you say something about my form? Never mind that, Muggs McGinnis. Come on inside. I want to talk to you. Talk to Lippy. He's my manager. Not today. I'm starting tomorrow. None of your lip. This concerns you, too. All of you. Come on. Hey, Muggs, pick up on these ground pans and give me that nickel. Take it out of the collection after the sermon. Hold your sermon a minute, will you, copper? I'm thirsty. Hey, Clancy. Clancy, where are I? Did you call me, Muggsy? That was the general idea. Say, Clancy, you got any 1913 Liberty Head nickels? I'll see. 1910, 1916, 19... Hey, that one'll do. That's a beautiful one. Did you get any ice this morning? Sure, sure. How much? Nickel. Keep the change. Big shot, aren't you, Muggs? I'm doing all right. Pretty handy with your dukes, too. Well, there's those... Don't find any cops, Muggs. I think they got the law on their side. Sure, sure, that's right. Personally, they don't come any better than me. Remember, the juvenile authorities gave you one more chance. I don't need no reminding. Why don't you go up to the police gym and do your fighting? Don't do it. That place is full of shower beds. He wants me to join a copper sewing circle. Is that a laugh? Hey, you get poison ivory. Ain't it bad enough you got Danny Breslin to go up there? You and Danny were pals once. We're still pals. We just don't see things eye to eye. What do you expect? He's got a school teacher for his sister. Now he wants to become president of the United States. I don't know. Rosal's doing all right without Danny. If Danny runs for president, I'll vote for him. But I'm sticking to my trade, see? Freddie Flynn wasn't such a bad boxer. Yeah? He could have made the big time, only he didn't follow the rules. All right, count to the point. So he's in the big house. Yes, until 9 o'clock tonight. Flynn dies tonight. Governor denies Flynn a reprieve. Slayer of fight manager to die in chair. Execution set for nine bells. Hello, Tom. You shouldn't put bad thoughts in kids' heads. They won't sleep good at night. Slats, that chair up the river will fit anybody. Why, Dick Tracy said them very words. Boy, I sure like to see Dick Tracy and Superman in a good fight. Oh, shut up, you stupid lug. Yeah. Let me recommend the right kind of reading. Slats, Morrison, beats fight fixing charge. 
Boxing commissioner renews promoter's license. Hey, that's a nice hey, piece of work. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Good. Hey, you gotta be smart. Freddie Flynn went to the fourth grade. Me? I just went to the third. Hey, what's eating you? I don't get it. Oh, you mean about Slat's joke? You see, Freddie, he only went to the no, flat foot. No, no, I mean a flat foot. What about him? Why is he so interested in a crook like Freddie Flynn? Maybe it's a maternal instinct. Like me, huh? Just like the rock him to sleep. You're getting so good, you even got your shadow scared. Hiya, Danny. Hiya. How you doing, Monk? Wow, what a nifty boat. Is it yours? Sure. Maybe I'll even let you drive it sometime. Gee, I'd like that. Okay, it's a promise. Look, um, Danny, it's none of my business, but I think you ought to know something. Know what? Well, I just heard Muggs McGinnis talking about your sister. Oh, uh, that's nothing. He never did get along with Mary. Yeah, but if I had a sister, and Muggs said what he did about her, well... Well, what did he say? Uh, maybe I'm talking out of turn. No, come on, spill it. It was about your sister and the copper. What about them? Can't you draw your own conclusions? Hey, y'all uh, boys, nothing to it. I'm a genius, that's all. Pay off, slats. Well, if it ain't the president himself. Hiya, Pres, how about me for treasurer? I didn't come here for any wisecracking mugs. Well, if it's money you want, I ain't got none. I don't like the way you've been talking about my sister. Hey, what gives? You know what gives. And you know I don't like that kind of stuff. Hey, you're unloading a parking zone. I said I didn't like it. Hey, Clancy, what is this, a pool room or the DA's office? I never knew you was a double cross until now. Hello, police station? Well, there's a fight going on over in Clancy's pool hall. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You know, if, if we could get on a rest between rounds, we could charge admission. Yeah. Mugs didn't say anything about Danny's sister. Get all the bonds, Mugs. Don't give my what's up. Right there, yeah, I got it. Might have run. So you wouldn't take my advice, Muggs McGinnis. Believe it or not, officer, I'm the victim of a young lady, an apple, and a snake. Pardon me. Two snakes with but a single thought. Come on, Muggs. Is that you, Danny? Yeah, it's me. Change, dear. We're having dinner with Tom and Mrs. Brady. Why, Danny Breslin? Where in the world have you been? At the gym. You should have taken a shower before you left. If I take any more showers, I'll need a new skin. You let nature worry about your skin. You take care of the fellow who's in it. Now go wash up. Mary. Yes, Danny? You and Tom. You're going to be married, aren't you? Why, Danny, you're not worried I might be an old maid. No, it ain't that. Isn't? Well, Tom, he's a swell fella, isn't he? He certainly is. They don't come any better. That's what I thought. Gee, Mary, you're the best sister in the world, I bet. Ah, oh, flatterer. <laughs> now go on, wash up. Okay. So you don't know who the other kid was, huh? Nope. What did he look like? 
you know me, Tom. I'm not good at describing. Yeah. Kind of wearing on the mind. Yeah. No, she's big English. Mm. You wouldn't know anything either, would you, Monk? Who, me? It's a funny thing. Somebody phoned the desk about that fight. Looks as though they wanted to get mugs in hot water. Look, I don't know nothing, see? I wasn't even here. Okay. Don't get high blood pressure. But, Tom, I don't see why you should worry about mugs. Reform school is where he belongs. Well, that boy never had a home. No folks would tell him the difference between right and wrong. Poor lad. The saints be praised that Danny here has had you to guide him, Mary. Oh, I suppose I am rather hard on mugs. But it is constant fighting that annoys me. <laughs> An Irishman needs a good scrap now and then. <laughs> <laughs> You're not such a bad scrapper yourself, Mrs. Brady. Well, I'm not needing police protection, Officer Brady. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew what that fight was about. Maybe I could keep Muggs from being sent up. When did Muggs ever need a reason to fight? Maybe Danny could help me find that reason. How about it, Danny? Just because you're gonna marry my sister doesn't mean you can make me do anything. You're still a copper, and I hate coppers. I hate the police gym, too, and I'm never going there again. Danny! Now it's all right, Danny boy. Sure, and Tom's mighty proud of you. That's why he asked you to help him. I'm not gonna help any copper. Danny, you may leave the table. It's a pleasure. Oh, Danny. There are your books you left in the pool hall. Mary, I'm sorry for what happened at dinner tonight. Oh, that's all right, Tom. No, it isn't all right. I can't explain, but... Well, you do understand the way I feel about those tenement kids, don't you? Of course I do. Every one of those kids deserves a break. It's just like a, a leak in the roof. If you don't fix it, it gets worse. Pretty soon, it affects the whole building. Then it's too late to do anything about it. That's the way it was with Freddie Flynn. Tom, darling, I understand. Don't kill the motor, I'll be right out. Home, James. Yeah, this is the place. Give us some service, Your Honor. Ah, what are you giving me? Lieutenants are only in the army. We come to see Muggs McGinnis. Now, isn't that nice? And did you bring flowers and candy? Hmm, I got a rabbit's foot. I brought dynamite. I got a saw. I got a machine gun. Oh, you think you're smart. Maybe you'd like to stay here and spend a vacation. Look, boys, I got a deal on it. I'll see you later. You can't see my Guinness, so beat it. Ah, uh, let's go to a better hotel. Yeah, I right don't like that bellhop at the desk. Anyway, what do we want to see Muggs for? We all know what he looks like. I hope they put you on a parachute division. Why did you and Danny fight? Next on a psalm singing, I'm hard of hearing. This wasn't one of your usual brawls. You and Danny must have had a special reason for slugging it out. What makes you think so? And anyway, who said Danny and me was fighting? If I could convince the Juvenile Bureau that this wasn't just another one-two, I might be able to get you off. Here, take a look at that. So what? I'd like to see you in there. Me? It would give you a chance to prove yourself. Prove what? That I can fight? That you can fight fair. You could have a career in the ring, Muggs. Why don't you go after it? Muggs, you're leaving here. Well, it's a good thing, because I had a swell escape plan. These are officials from the reform school. Young man, before we're through with you, you'll learn to have respect for authority. So if you had the best example they got, I'll give you odds. Bring him along. 
Hey, Joe, I can walk. Well, so long, Mr. Brady. Here's where I get a chance to prove myself. Hiya, Danny. Hiya, Mom. Uh, I just dropped by to give you a little present. Gee, thanks. What a surprise. Ah, uh, that's all right. You did okay. Be seeing you, Danny. So long, Monk. Nice suit you're wearing, Monk. It fits. Working your way through college, Danny? No, I'm not going to college. That's funny. I got Monk just slipped your scholarship. What are you driving at? Come clean, kid. Why'd he give you the money? I drove him around his new car last night. Did you make any stops? Yeah, once at a grocery store. We was only there a minute. Hey, I bet you kept the motor running. How did you know? While putting away the day's receipts, Tony Capri, grocer at 637 Chestnut Street, was slugged by an unidentified young bandit who made off with about $70. So what? Well, don't be afraid, kid. Slats Morrison ain't no squealer. Live and let live, that's me. Hey, you see Monk? Yeah, just drove away. New car, new suit. How about his money's even new? Hey, maybe he robbed a bank. Hey, Danny, we just seen him take mugs out of the clink to take him to reform school. Yeah? What's eating you? None of your business. Hey, I bet he got brain fever. That's what school does for you. <laughs> Economics is a science of man's activities devoted to obtaining the material means for the satisfaction of his wants. What do you mean that? He's absolutely illiterate. <laughs> You're pretty smart, kid. What class you graduate from? Oh, cuz now. Hello, Miss Breslin. Is Danny home? Why, uh, yes. He wanted to see me. Just a minute, I'll uh, I'll call him. I'm coming. Hello, Danny. Here I am. What are you doing here? Some of the boys said you wanted to talk to me. Not here. Why not? Ain't we pals? I'll tell you more about that later. I don't mind if your sister hears. Danny, is anything wrong? No, uh, Monk and me here, we got something to talk about. Yeah, Danny's a great one for talking secrets. Now me, I ain't got no secrets. Let's go. Sure. Your brother's crazy about my new car, and boy, can he drive. Got me skinned by a mile. Don't be gone too long, Danny. Okay, sis. Hey, what's the idea of talking like that in front of my sister? I talked that way on purpose. I know you wouldn't want her to find out about what happened last night. I thought you just wanted me to drive you wrong. I don't need that kind of a chauffeur. I ought to beat your head in. Look, Danny, get smart to yourself. There's money, lots of money to be made in this town. Come on. Forget about going to college. When you get out, all you'll have is a desk in a room with your name on the door, Danny Breslin Lawyer. Not a dime in your pocket to keep the dust off. That's my business. You think I'll be a cheap crook like Slats Morrison? I'm gonna make a couple of grand a week. A couple of grand a week? Yeah, and that's nothing. I'm gonna buy me a stable of racehorses, maybe a racetrack. Look, Danny, you're smart. We're both smart, and we can go places. Now, what do you say? How about it? Sure, why not? Maybe I can get me a car like this. Sure you can. You want to get behind the wheel and take a spin? What are we waiting for? Quit shoving away. I don't want to see nobody I don't have to. I still got some constitutional rights left. Hello, Muggs. 
Talk fast, Tom. I'm in a hurry reforming this place. First of all, we're going to throw our pickle puss. Then we're going to exterminate all the cockroaches. Put a radio on every room and serve meals in bed. That's what I say. You've got a chance to leave here, Mikes. Yeah? If you'll come home to live with me. Live with a cop? Yep. Ma Brady and I both want you. And besides, here's your chance to do some clean fighting. Remember the Golden Gloves? Certainly. Remember the Alamo? That's history, too. Ask Professor Danny. Danny isn't going to fight in the Golden Gloves. He quit training. Oh, so that gives me a chance, huh? You've got what it takes, Muggs. Even the boys at the station are with me on that. Well, he ain't with me, and that's what counts. I'm staying. You're an ungrateful boy. Ah, oh, Pickle Puss. You and me was made for each other. We could do things. We could go places. Well, if you want to stay here and outgrow your pants and your punch, so it's me. My punch is getting better every day. So long, Muggs. I guess a real fight scares you. Nothing scares me. Except maybe Pickle Puss. Oh, hello, Mary. Come in. Tom, I want to talk to you about something. Sure, but first I've got some good news. Ma and I have been talking things over, and we've Mary, decided... is that you? Yes, Mrs. Brady. Mary, I think we're going to have a border. Muggs McGinnis. Muggs McGinnis? Sure. If Ma and I give him a home, I can get him paroled to my custody. And to my cooking. Huh. <laughs> are you serious? Of course we are. Say, by the way, what were you going to tell me? I... Uh, I wanted to talk to you about Danny, but... But now it's no use. Oh, Mary. I think we'll have to be considering Mary's feelings, son. Oh, but she's got to understand, Ma. This is too important. So long, curly nose. Hey, where's our transportation? There it is. Are you kidding? Where's the motor? You are the motor. Start pedaling. You can limber up for the golden gloves. You want me to become anemic? Go on, get your legs on those pedals before I break them off. Who ever heard of a manager training for a fight? You did. Starting right now. Come on, roll it out. Don't go through any red lights. I won't. Hey, why don't you sing out a bicycle bill for two? I'm not a member of Ascap. I dream of genie with the long brown who pays for a friend. That is what's kid must have the jinx on me. I'll never steal his bike again. <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes, Mom. All the search be praised. If that isn't just like Muggs. <laughs> now, don't you go spoiling that roughneck, Mom Brady. I know a spoiled roughneck who grew up to be the handsomest lad in the police force. Oh, uh, go on with you. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, Romans, and countrymen. Countrymen, you know we're only city kids. Lend me your ears and five bucks. <laughs> it ain't what you know, it's who you know. And now that I got a pull with the coppers, I'm gonna fix all your tickets for you. It won't cost you a penny, not one dime. And when I get through doing that, I'm go... Well, uh, guess I'm caught in a trap, huh? Yeah. Welcome to Camp Brady. See you later, folks. I'll take a wooden nickels. Bring on your golden gloves. Not so fast. You've got plenty of work to do. Hey, what is this, a frame-up? Hey, my mate, cop. I've been his manager since he swiped his first pair of boxing gloves. Sure, I'm a veteran. Maybe, but you've got to qualify for the preliminaries. And that means training. Oh, me? Hey, gee, that me must begin his training. Is that a laugh? <laughs> <laughs> and you can start doing that right now. Vitamins. And in case you don't know it, I am your assistant manager. Why, you're the greatest manager I ever saw. <laughs> Hey, who's doing the training around here? Why, the manager's got to have his calories. Well, uh... Ah, sure, Muggs, there's plenty more. <laughs> Sit down, lad. I'll see you later, Ma. Take it easy today, Muggs. By beginning tomorrow, you're working off Ma's pie. Hey, you better make that pie a la mode with a couple of hunks of cheese.
Muggs McGinnis. I never seen a champ yet that looked good with a cigar in his face. Ah, oh, Ma. Now, if you'd follow me, I'd show you to your room. Okay, pal. How's he doing? He's got what it takes. The next champ in the world. Hey, what's your social security number? X. You better work to get a social security number. You're not kidding. Oh, listen. I'm gonna let you work in Mug's corner tonight. Do you know anything about cuts or bruises? No. Well, I want to tell you something. If Mug gets hit in the eye and he gets a cut, I want to show you what we're gonna do. Take the iodine, see? And we do that. But that's no good. See, because now the guy's got a target. So I'll tell you what we do to fool him. We do this. Get the idea? Okay. Now, suppose he gets hit in the mouth. That's no good to put iodine on because it'll be swollen. So what do we do? Take tape. Put it around the guy's mouth like that. What'd you say? Take it easy. Now, do you know anything about cauliflower ears? I'll show you what we do in the cauliflower ear. Take a piece of steak, see? Slam it out of his ear like that. Get the thing? Now, there's gonna be a lot of blood flying around out there tonight. Are you afraid of blood? Does blood make you sick? Okay, you'll be okay down that ring. Don't forget it now, kid. You're gonna be okay in that ring. Don't be afraid of no blood. Oh! What's the matter with you? My finger. It's bleeding. Real blood? Let me see. Oh, blood. That's us. Oh, let go. I didn't do nothing. What are you, playing cops and robbers? Hey, Tom, tell them to lay off, will you? Hey, you don't think I... Yeah. Just back to reform school, huh? Go ahead, say it, say it. I don't scare so easy. That's what I thought. Listen to this. Whereas Muggs McGinnis has shown a continued disposition to use his fists. And whereas the said disposition has resulted in sundry misfortunes to various opponents of said fists. And whereas the said Muggs McGinnis has used said fists fairly with courage and sportsmanship. Be it resolved that it is the prayer of the executive committee of the Police Athletic Club to wit. That Muggs do them the honor of wearing their colors and permitting their sponsorship in the Golden Gloves Tournament. Furthermore, Muggs McGinnis, here is your discharge from parole. Well, Muggs, what do you say? Well, I, uh, I, uh, once in my life, fellas, I ain't got nothing to say. I got a full house. Well, if it ain't the Robo Boy, guess that means we don't want any toadstools today. Oh, now, wait a minute, fellas. I got an angle on the amateurs. You mean the Golden Gloves? Those fights are on a level. Get out. Spam. This is about Muggs McGinnis and Johnny Ryan. A toss-up between those two. We don't make bets for fun. What's it worth to you if I deliver the winner? You mean you can reach one of those boys? Now you're catching on. Who's the boy? How can you do it? That's my business. Hey, Nick, give Mr. Morrison a seat. OK, 
case, Lats, if that fight is fixed, I want exclusive. Sure, you know me. Yeah, that's why I'm warning you beforehand. How soon can you tip us off? Oh, I need a little cash to swing it. I thought there'd be a catch in it. Okay, how much? About two grand. There you are. Remember, Slats, from now on, the finger's on you. And no tricks. Don't worry. It's in the bag. Just be sure you're not in that bag, floating down the East River. Mm -hmm. Hey, fella, come here, get a load of this, come here. Hiya, Hepcat. Solid, old man. Take a gander, public hero number one, that's me. Oh, so you joined the police force, did you? Where'd you lead the parade? I How never thought a day would come. Don't look kosher to me. A uh, gumshoe. You can't get up in the world these days legitimate. Anyhow, who said I was a gumshoe? Well, you might as well be. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. Keep the change. Oh, really? Let's go, Monk. Well, that was a quick rush. What'd I ever do to him? You didn't do nothing, but the Monk's doing plenty. I got it. What? The sister gag. What sister gag? You remember Danny accused me of talking about his sister? Well, Monk put him up to that, so as we could get in a fight and me be sent up. Hey, that low down. Hello, Muggs. Hiya, fellas. Hiya. So the coppers are sponsoring you. What's it to you? A lot. What's the angle? This is private. See you later, fellas. Oh, now, don't even walk. Now, this don't mean a thing to me. I'm doing it for a friend. But if I was you, well, a grand don't grow on trees. A grand? Yeah, and maybe more. What do I have to do? It's easy. Look here. What's this fight with Johnny Ryan gonna do for you? Nothing. Says you. You don't have to win. You can make money by losing that fight. Show the fight so a bunch of racketeers can clean up, huh? Now that's quick thinking. Sure it's quick thinking. Well, listen, Slats Morrison, I'm winning this fight and I'm winning it fair, see? And you can tell those pals of yours not to try to muscle in on the amateurs. Because it ain't healthy. Sure. Sure, Mark. Hey, you've been doing all right, kid. Well, it's all in a day's work. I noticed that Slats Morrison seemed to be full of ideas. Was he uh, thinking of trying to coin some money on the fight? I'm thinking of winning it. That's all I know. Add up, boy. Come on. I'll buy you a short soda. What do we have for a chaser? <laughs> Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. What do you want? Oh, I'd just like to have a little chat with you. Well, the feeling ain't mutual. Don't use them big words. I want to be your pal. That's simple enough. I'll make it even more simple for you. This house is getting too small for the two of us to live in. Boy, that crack about your sister. I Leave my think... sister out right of it. What's the matter with you, Danny? We used to be pals just like brothers. We used to do things together. Remember the time we chased Butch to gimp up the Lancy Street with a pineapple and he thought it was loaded? Yeah. Boy, them was the days. Sure. I didn't know any better then. There you go again. Can't you forget it? Not me. You forget it. You're just a sorehead, that's all. You can't see any footed in Monk's nose. You want to make something out of it? Golden gloves, champ. <laughs> Hello, Mary. Hello, Mrs. Brady. What a day I've had shopping around for a new dress. Will you come in and see it? I'd be glad to. It's that excited I am about the fight. <laughs> uh, sure, you'll be sitting with us at the ringside, won't you, Mary? No, I'm not going. Not going? Oh, sure, you'll be after changing your mind. I used to be a big knight for Tom. He wants to prove to himself that he was right about Muggs. I'm glad Tom is so happy about it. Kids from six to sixty like a fair fighting picture like that. Fights, fights, fights. Oh, Ma, what happened to Tom and me? There, there now, Mary. 
we're drifting apart. I've known it ever since Muggs McGinnis came here. Danny has changed. Everything's changed. Oh, nothing's changed, Mary dear. Tom still loves you. He has a strange way of showing it. I haven't seen him for days. Oh, well, after the fights are over, why you'll see. Well, I'm not waiting. Danny and I are moving as far away from here as we possibly can. Far away from everything. <laughs> Mr. McGinnis. Why? Well, I'm just leaving. My eyes don't deceive me in that, but why? Why? Well, just got to go, that's all. Mm -hmm. Then I'm parole, am I? Have you been in your room all this while? Yeah. Yeah, I've been sleeping. Well, then maybe you're walking in your sleep now. Yeah, maybe. But I'm still leaving. You said that. But why so sudden? Well... See, I've been ticking with some big shots in a fight racket. Just thought on Monday I'm going to be on Easy Street. Oh, so a surprise fighter you're going to be. Yeah. Yeah, that's a general idea. Just tell Tom I'll see him after the fight, huh? Goodbye, Muggs. So long, Ma. Good luck to you, lad. Want to see me, Lieutenant? Yes, Tom. Looks like we sponsored the wrong boy for that fight Monday. What do you mean? I just got word that the Rackets are trying to horn in on the Golden Gloves. And Muggs McGinnis is going to throw the fight. I don't believe that. I don't want to believe it. That's why I called you. I know what this means to you, Tom. You tell Muggs McGinnis he better make a fight of it Monday or we'll know what to do to him. Yes, sir. And one thing more. Keep your eye out for Monk Martin. I'm looking forward to seeing him here one of these days. I hope that don't go for Danny Breslin as well. That's all. Yes, sir. There's a copper who carries his heart on his badge. Oh, Danny, I want to talk to you a minute. About what? I want to warn you about Monk Martin. Yeah? We're watching him. If you're caught with him when he's picked up, you're in a jam. You're just trying to frame him so you can boss me around. Well, you're not going to boss me, copper. Now, wait a minute, Danny. I don't want anything like that to happen to you. Besides, think of Mary. In case you don't know it, copper, you and Mary are through. Danny, is anything wrong? Oh, this copper's picking on me. Well, Mary... What's all this about? You heard what Danny said. Well, I thought you understood. I do understand. And that's just why Danny and I are going away. Hello, son. Hello, Mom. Tom, I've been eavesdropping. Everything seems to be going haywire. Well, don't worry, son. When a man fights for an ideal, the devil sticks him with his pitchfork. Is Muggs home? Well, he's moved out. Moved out? Said something about dickering with a big-time Charlie in the fight racket. And it's true. What is, Tom? I'm the lieutenant got word that Muggs was going to throw the fight. I don't believe it. Well, that's what I said. But it all adds up. That big shot in the fight racket. Muggs leaving here like this. I'm surprised at you, Tom Brady. Why, that boy didn't want to be the cause of you and Mary breaking up. You see, it all happened like this, Tom. 
Say, Clancy, I hear Muggs is parking around here someplace. Yeah, temporary like. He's using the back room till he gets in the money. Oh. Well, what do you want? I just heard about you walking out on the copper. So what? So I'm figuring you might need some money. Then you hear they just made president of First National Bank. With this, it might be even the Federal Reserve. Scram. Okay, okay. Fine way to treat a pal. I told you to move. Maybe you wish you listened to me. Did I tell you once to get out of here? All right, have it your way. Hey, Slats, who wears your clean collars? Keep dancing, the old one too. First with your right, then with your left. First with your left, then with your right. Who's manager here? All right. Get busy, you guys. Oh. Get out of here, you're trying for a fight. There you are, Madison Square Garden. Hey, where'd you get all that junk? From a warehouse on Spring Street. Oh, you borrowed it, huh? Yeah, only they don't know it. Uh, Pee Wee's taking it back after the fight. I gave that junk to Scruno. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna wait for a blackout. What a nifty. Nothing but the best, try it on. We don't want to get anything too loud. Boy, fits like a glove. What size I tell you to get? Oh, I thought a big one would fit him better when he gets to be heavyweight champ. I got an idea. We'll put the belt around twice. Say, boy. look here. Here's something. This is for the room. That ain't my initial. I know what that age is for Harlem. Thank you. We're pitched. Look, I got a deal on. I'm going to see you later. Look, we just wanted to make Muggs feel like a champ. Huh? <laughs> I'd say you did a good job. Then we ain't pinched? Oh, not unless you go out and hold up somebody. Hey, Muggs, I want to talk to you about going back home with me. Nothing doing. I got other plans. Yeah, so I heard. But you didn't fool Ma. It was on account of Mary and me, wasn't it? Yeah, baddie. What do I get you in love with some girl? You know, the fellows who gave you this think you're letting them down. So that's what they think, huh? Well, let them think it. Maybe it's true, see? All I can say is, you'd better fight your head off Monday night to prove you're on the level. Here he comes. Hello, Dutch. The boss thinks you're stolen. But why? Everything's all fixed. Don't tell me. Save it for the boss. I'm tired of waiting, Slats. Who's it gonna be, McGinnis or Ryan? Muggs McGinnis. That's fine. Be sure you bet on that name yourself. You know what I mean? No tricks. I wouldn't double-cross you, Dorgan. I paid off McGinnis just a while ago. Okay, that's all. Dutch, go see McGinnis and find out if Slats is lying. Sure thing. Price fighter, not a marathon runner. Hey, Pee Wee, will you give him a workout? Oh, I'm a peace loving citizen. You get in there. I'm the manager, the brains of the outfit. Go ahead, get in there. For a fight with a thousand bucks, you're working pretty hard, Mr. McGinnis. Who are you? Dogan's outfit. You know. Doug, it's out because you know. Sounds like Greek to me. Say, what do you mean? Look, this is a private training camp. But if you're a newspaper, man, you can quote Olympia saying, my boy will be next champ of the world. up. Just a second. What's this about a thousand bucks? You know what? Slats gave you. Hot poke chops, fellas. Look at here. One, two, three odds. Don't forget I get two odds for the manager's shit. Where'd you get that? On the table, in the box, under the ribbon. Just like that. Like it's been there for a thousand years. Just waiting for little Admiral Scruno to come along and discover it. Oh, so you was going to Welsh. That's a lie. I wasn't going to Welsh on nothing. How was I to know you was with Dorgan and not with the Athletic Association? Say, I think you're all right, kid. But that kind of dough, I'd sleep my life away in a ring. Say, Dorgan's going to like that. I'll put in a good word for you. Thanks, pal. So long, fellas. Take it easy. Ooh. Oh, can you imagine that? But with Frame, you know who did it? That dirty rat Slats, that's who. What are you gonna do about it? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna do plenty. Take a letter. A letter? 
A letter, a letter. Take it. Yeah, get me some paper. Go ahead. Yeah. You start the letter up with, Dear Ma Brady. No, no, that's no good. That ain't in it. Dear Ma. Dear, wait, hold on a second. Dearest mother. And clothes, please find 1,000 bucks. I can't write 1,000 bucks. It makes me nervous. My hand trembles. Right, right. Remember, pal, the water's deep, so you'd better keep swimming. Morning, Tom. Ah, good morning, George. Big day for you, ain't it? Yeah, and do I feel lucky. Muggs will take Ryan in two rounds. From what I hear, he's gonna lay down. Oh, don't you believe it. I know those east side kids. I know them like a... Hey, George, block that car, quick! Doctor, is he going to be all right? Now, don't worry. We're going to do everything we can for him. What are his chances, Doctor? It's not a bad wound, but he's lost a good deal of blood. We need a transfusion before we operate. Well, how about using me for it? Very well. We'll try it. Come with me. Not a bad specimen, eh, Doc? I'd say not. Next, please. Hey, Muggs, meet Johnny Ryan. Hiya, Ryan. Yeah, hello. Hey, is he kidding? Let us see you off give me that Park Avenue Ritz. Oh, uh, word gets around, Muggs. Word gets around? I'll take that guy right now. I could... Oh, uh, keep that for the ring if you're so serious. Uh, so they even got you believing it, huh? Oh, uh, let's not talk about it. Hey, Muggs. Danny's been shot. They say he's dying. Danny's been shot? Where is he? He's at the emergency hospital. I tried to see him, but they wouldn't let me. We'll see him. Hey, Max, don't forget. We got a date in just three hours. In three hours and one minute, you won't know nothing about it. I'm sorry, but your blood's not the type. But don't worry, we'll find it. Emergency hospital. One moment, please. I bet you she won't let us see him. I even told her it was Robert Taylor. Didn't I tell you not to? Cool off, sissy. You're talking to Clark Gable. Oh, yeah? Well, that makes me an ice cube. <laughs> oh, emergency hey. hospital. Oh, Dr. Holden Keep is off busy. duty. I'm sorry. Say, Doc, where's Danny Fresno's room? He's in there, but he can't see anyone. But he's my pal. We grew up together. No, I'm sorry, son, but he can't have any visitors. Dr. Sterling. We've just located a donor with the correct blood type, but it'll take at least two hours to bring him here. I'm afraid that's too long, and we can't operate without a transfusion. Hey, you mean Danny needs blood? That's right. Well, why waste time? I'm full of blood. Very well. We'll try it. Donor. 
Don't worry, Mary, now. They've got a blood donor, so we'll perform the transfusion right away. Oh, thank you. The Lord be praised. If you need any more blood, just say the word. I can spare a gallon. Well, we got plenty and good blood, too. Now Danny will get well, huh? He's got an even chance. Now you go home and have a long rest and don't do any violent exercise for a couple of days. Mark McGinnis, one at the Golden Gloves. Mark McGinnis, one at the Golden Gloves. Mark McGinnis, one at the Golden Gloves. Say, Mark, you got 10 minutes. Rude, ain't you? <laughs> Danny's gonna be all right. I know, I just asked the noise. Come on, you gotta fight. Well, let's go. Someday I'll come back and sing a love song over this thing to you. Goodbye, Martha. I hear McGinnis hasn't shown up yet. Well, it doesn't surprise me. Probably get cold feet. Just to make sure, I sent Dutch up to see the kid. From the looks of dog in this mob, this is not only amateur night, it's also bank night. You're okay, Slats. Introduce me to the kid after the fight. Sure. It's about time you got here. Some of the boys were doubting if you'd come. Well, yeah, well, after night I'm through with the boys, see? And I'm gonna tell them what to do with that piece of ribbon, too. Look, Munch, look what I got. We gotta win the fight. What is that, propaganda? What does it say? I don't know. I got it off the Chinese calendar. But read it. Oh. Oh, a locksman. Gee, I'm sorry, Mary. Don't worry, Danny. The authorities have put you in Tom's care. That's right. Say, listen, fellow. You have to hurry up and get well so you can give the bride away. That's great, Tom. I must have went crazy. Monk said things about mugs and and you and Mary, and I... Monk confessed everything before he died. He lied about mugs. They don't come no better than mugs. Say, I have to get going. That fight will be on soon. Well, take it easy, fellow. It's not honey. So long, see you later, Mom. I sure wish I could see that fight. There'll be plenty more fights, son. Yeah, but this is a special one, Doc. You see, Muggs and me are pals. That is, we were pals. I'll tell you what. We'll bring in a radio. Oh, nurse. Yes, doctor. Bring in a radio. All right, doctor. <laughs> Natural. What a dead pan. In this corner, representing the boys' athletic club at 126 pounds, wearing purple trunks, Johnny Ryan. In this corner, representing the Policeman's Athletic Club at 128 and a half pounds, wearing green trunks, Muggs McGinnis. All right, boys. Now, you boys know the rules. I want a nice, clean fight. In case of a knockdown, the standing fighter goes to the farthest corner. Shake hands, come out fighting.
I feel okay. It must have been wonderful blood you found for him, Doctor. It was. It came from one of Danny's pals. Who? A boy with the name of McGinnis. McGinnis? Not Muggs McGinnis. That's the name he gave. Glory be. There he is, fighting his heart out and a pint of blood missing from his veins. Fighting? McGinnis is fighting? Yes, Doctor. At the Manhattan Arena. And we've got to do something about it. And we will. Operator, this is Dr. Sterling. Get me the Manhattan Arena as quickly as possible. Looks pretty good. Probably just an act. <laughs> He'll throw the fight in the next round. What are you puffing for? It's only the first round. Sam <laughs> is coming to you from the ringside at the Manhattan Arena. We've just given you a blow-by-blow -blow description of the first round. Strange, but no one answers. They're probably all watching the fight. I'm going to take a taxi. Wait a minute, Ma. Mary, why did you go with her? I'm sure Muggs would like that. You think you'll be all right? Sure. We'll take good care of him. Well, nurse. Yes, doctor. You'd better stay close by. All right. To the Manhattan Arena. And step on it. See that? Yes. I told you no tricks, Slats. Listen, Dorgan, give me a break. I didn't know the kid was going to welch. Honest, I didn't. Oh, there they are. Come on. Hello, Dorgan. Hi, Brady. How'd you like to bet a grand that Muggs McGinnis won the fight? 
What's the gag, copper? The gag is you're going with us. All right, boys. And you too, just a minute. Look at me, no advertisement or nothing. We got one for you too. Oh no, oh no, not for me. I wouldn't wear one of those things even for a wedding. You're the best man in a ring. Didn't you always say you cut off your right arm for Tom Brady? I certainly, certainly I would too, but he's the one that's getting married. Let him get dressed up. I see we're wasting our time, fellas. Well, uh, no. Now, wait a minute, fellas. I mean, we've been pals a long time. Don't do that to me. I'm warning you guys, if you come one step close, I'm... Hey, Kevin, look out for the hats. That's all. Look out for the suits. Look out for the gentlemen. Get him in the back. Get him in the back. Get him in the back. Hey, real silk. Not fair. Muggs McGinnis, Esquire. Hey, how'd I get into these? <laughs>